everyone! Today we're gonna do our November wrap up. I have not read very much of what I said I would read this month. Um, so my wrap up is gonna be not what I previously talked about at all. You did talk about a lot. Okay, so the first one that I finished this month was this David Sedaris. I'm pretty meh about it. I think that to say that Lena Dunham is privileged and he's not is... Like when I go and read reviews about Lena Dunham, people are like, just read David Sedaris instead. And he has just as much of a privileged position. Why, like, why is his opinion valid and hers not? I, I don't know. I didn't love it. I also finished, finally, something that I really liked that I wasn't expecting to really, really like was she reviews plays and books. Oh. And so like, I just used her reviews for book recommendations. I was like, that's so smart. So I forgot about that. Yeah, it's really cool. And it was really cool to like read her thoughts and like, cause I respect her so much as a writer to, to see her reviews. Um, I feel the same way about Orwell. It was good. I'm really glad that I, that I finished it. Um, I didn't actually, I only got, is my, how far did you get? 64 pages in. Um, I was pretty disappointed <sighs> in you guys' Goodreads. To say the least. There's so much racism and so much sexism. And I am not, the, I'm not like a sensitive reader. Not a prudish reader I, at, at least. all. Even a little bit. I like some like good, like gritty swearing and like violence. Yeah, I'll take it. Like I- She likes a good time. Yeah, and I don't even actually care about like some sexism in like a broader sense, but he's homophobic. He's really, really racist. Like really, really, really racist. Overtly racist. Like super like throwing down the racial slurs left and right. And I like, I don't subscribe to this. Well, it's the period, so we should accept it. It's like particularly awful. I'm kind of disappointed and it, I, you know what? Sell it to me. If you like it and you gave it four stars. Give us a pitch. Yeah, give us a pitch. Tell me what was so good. I'll let a little bit slide. It bothers me. I don't agree with it, but I'll kind of like look at the overall. You have a tolerance. Yeah. And I'm pissed off about it. And maybe I'll even do an entire video dedicated to it. I don't know yet, but I was really disappointed to see that people didn't point that out on Goodreads. Yeah. And it made me really angry. As it should. <laughs> Rant over Moving about on. that. Um, the next thing I read and really, really enjoyed was The Dinner by Herman. I, we we talked about it was it on the last. Was yeah. it? Uh, <laughs> it was really good. I liked it. I might review it. I don't know. We'll see. But I did like it. It's one of the few contemporary books that I'm like, this is really good. There was a few things in it where the character like explained references that I thought was too, yeah. I thought like this isn't in the character. He's just like, he, why is he explaining this to me? It felt like an editor just like plopped it in, like maybe even for English audiences, huh. um, because it just didn't fun. really go. Like it, it broke up the story, but uh, overall, really, really enjoyed it. Another thing that I've read, but I read even less pages. Even less, yeah. What did you? Was this piece of garbage? <laughs> gonna it's just it's just not very good I'll, I'll give you a little taste of what's not very good turning she saw the branch or whatever it was too late though she tried to slow down she wasn't quick enough and ran right into it and was knocked out of her skis falling sideways into the snow realizing only when she sat up what happened to her was the body of a man. That's only two sentences. That's captivating prose right there. And it's terrible. Why are things called it whatever it was to... Oh, yeah. That's a head pick. The last thing I actually like completely read, like I'm not gonna... And I actually, I did cover. completely read this cover to cover. I guess I only read one, two, three, four books now cover to cover this month. Yeah. Was Essex County? Everyone's nuts for this. It's all right. <laughs> it's it's like it's not bad. I don't I didn't hate it. It's it's a bit sentimental, for which me. you are not. And it like really wanted me to like have a lot of feelings, 
like and it like knew it like I already knew kind of how everyone was gonna be tied up mm. already so like it was no mist I don't know it it like it was it wasn't bad it was what it was I read it over one day when I had hurt my back so like it was exactly what I wanted to read that day I don't really see the fuss cuz other than it being CanCon it's all right but because it's like CanCon, we're like, yeah, it's getting a lot. And I just, I, again, Canada really, like, I don't know. Like, it's good. It's not bad. It's just, I got, it's just getting a lot of hype, guys. I don't know if it's that good. I haven't read it yet. It's, it's all right. I understand any. that, like, hockey is, like, our thing. Mm. But we have other things, too. We have a lot of other things. And I don't feel like they're very well represented no. in CanCon. It's like, you're from small towns, and you like hockey, or you're from big cities, and you're from big cities. And that's kind of it, and I feel like there's like a whole middle ground in Canada that gets zero representation with that's true. anybody, except maybe Bruce McDonald. And I know that like there's so many things going on in Canada that it's hard to represent everything. It just feels like hockey gets a lot of fucking play. It does. And Too much. Give me something more. Yeah. Give me something more than like a male story. Give me a story about women who play some hockey, and then I'm interested. I read less than Zoe. I think I read uh, maybe four books. Cover to cover, though. I'm reading a lot of poetry right now, so I thought I'm gonna reread The Wasteland. This is my university copy. This is. This is Zoe's university copy. So you have all my baby notes? So there's a, there's a lot of notes throughout and I, I was, I did enjoy that. It was, <laughs> it was great. The Wasteland was great. Zoe's notes were great. It gave me a new appreciation for the book. Really? Yes, yes, I really liked it. I don't know how much of there, there's probably all just bullshit. No, no, <laughs> you had some very thoughtful commentary to add. Nice. Another book I mentioned in last month's wrap up was The Benefactors by Susan Sontag which I've been reading for a while. Yeah. On Zoe's recommendation, actually. Mm -hmm. And I loved. I'm I'm wanting to reread it now. You should. Just so you we can talk about it. You didn't that long ago. I don't remember anything. I was reading it with, uh, with her essays, and I found that was very, oh. very valuable, you know? Especially the essays written around the same time. This is her first novel, so it was written in the 60s. What about her journals? Because you read her, her journals previously. I was also reading her journals, but I didn't actually read the, the portion of the journals that, that address the writing period. No. Oh. I should have. That's silly. That would have been smart, but <laughs> her essays, particularly... Against Interpretation? In, against Interpretation, yes. I found there was a, a, a direct correlation with the benefactors, and I, I, I wrote something about that in, in all my Goodreads. That's interesting. So, I didn't know. Yeah, look it up. I want to revisit it. You should. Mm -hmm. The last book, another book of poetry, I'm reading a lot of poetry right now, was uh, actually a poet I hadn't heard of before, and that's James Merrill. Water Street was an early collection of his, and the earliest I could find. I like to start at the beginning when I'm getting into a new author, so I thought it was a good idea. I rather liked most of it, but he, his early work is known, you know, it's, he's a lyric, lyric poet, so that means a lot of rhyming. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of rhyming, that's not my... As you can tell by my noise, <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> no, not really my, uh... Your bag. No. But, um, they weren't all. The poems that weren't, those were my favorite. Mm. Uh, I would recommend everyone look up, uh, what was the first? An Urban Convalescence. That's probably my favorite of his poems. And he seems like a very interesting poet overall. So look him up. I've been kicking around really wanting to read another memoir. So my next memoir, it could be December, it could be January, I'm not sure which, is um, Joyce Johnson's um, Minor Characters. Um, a beat memoir. I am so excited to read this because I've read a lot of the beat memoirs, but I have not read a woman. Oh, wait, I have. Yeah, you read uh, Diane de, de, de Prima. Prima. De Prima. I, don't, I don't remember. Whatever. Um, and it was really good, and I really enjoyed it, and I love, like, these kind of... These women that go with these men, like, they are, you know, like, Patti Smith to... Oh, yeah. You know, though, like, there's this era of women who 
were really trying to rebel and for them it really was rebelling in this huge way because like if men were were like rebelling by writing like this and dropping out of society women were like they're blowing it out of the water they were expected yeah. to be wives and mothers you That's know right. not just men who wear suits Right. So, I'm really excited to read this. It's fantastic. Um, another thing that I'm hoping, and I've started it and I love it, and I'm not, it's not because it's not good, it's just because I'm, I've had a very work-filled month and I want to dedicate as much time as possible to it. As a single man, I'm going to finish that this month. And the other thing that I'm reading is Jane Austen. <laughs> This is purely for research. Not for pleasure. No. <laughs> I, I do not like being closed-minded, and I've done a lot of thinking about people who are very, people I respect as feminist, really talk about Jane Austen. And I don't see it, but that doesn't mean that they're not right. So I'm reading it. What's you currently reading? Yeah, what are you currently reading? I am. Uh, currently reading, actually, this, is, this wasn't a conscious decision. This was an unconscious, I, I can't even say what. I've started reading the collected stories of Richard Yates, which I'm rather enjoying. I'm reading that as soon as you're done it. You should, he's it's, fantastic. He's so good. He is. You haven't even read, like, Revolutionary Road I haven't Road read any or... of his novels. This yeah, is my and introduction. He, he's, he's such your style. He is. I'm very impressed. But why I... Why I say, you know, I didn't do this consciously. I, I'm reading Richard Yates and uh, W.B. Yeats. <laughs> I didn't know I'm, that! I'm reading Yeats and Yeats. <laughs> That's hilarious! Um, of of Yeats' uh, poetry, I'm reading The Tower and uh, The Winding Stair. Can we talk about the covers? They for are a minute? beautiful covers. They're amazing. These are uh, facsimile editions, so they're recreating the uh, the old volumes. And uh, they're just beautiful. Oh. I, I was looking for, well, I'm reading a lot of poetry, I was looking for more poetry, and these just jumped out at me. Again, Yeats is a lyric poet, mm -hmm. there is rhyming, but I, I, he does it very well. I, even though it's not my thing, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm engrossed. I'm, I'm very, I'm enjoying it more than I expected. I'm excited to hear you review them or finish them. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully I, I finish them, yeah. <laughs> I forgot a book. I actually just finished Anne Carson's autobiography of Red. Oh, yes. And she's fantastic. I, after, after I finished it, I knew I had to pick up everything she's written, including the sequel to Autobiography of Red, which is just called Red Dog. She likes to play with forms, so... Uh, I'm not sure what specifically she'll do, but I know it's going to be interesting. She's a very interesting poet. Well, wow. That's it? That's it for our wrap-up? That's it. Um, let us know what you think. Yes. Even if you don't agree, especially, well especially not especially if you, if you don't agree with us, but we find a lot of people are agreeing with us and I'm like, what? It's surprising, <laughs> It's yes. always very surprising to me. So, if you don't agree with us, you can say. We won't be mad at you. No, we won't. You won't. I promise. Promise. I might just make a video to tear you down, oh. but I won't be mad at you. No, it'll be constructive. <laughs> yeah. It'll be conversational. Exactly. Anyway, goodbye everyone.